Good day, everybody. It's Christy from OK Keto. So I'm going to throw another bonus video at you today. I'm going to do a pina colada truffle. And this is how I'm going to do it. I have a half an ounce of cream cheese. I soften in my little bowl. I put it in this little bowl. When I plug in my Dash mini waffle maker, I set it on top and I let it melt the cream cheese for me. I have a large egg. I use brown egg, but you can use white. It doesn't matter really, I guess, but I always bring it up to room temperature. That is a very important thing in my opinion is to get it to room temperature. So that has been brought up to room temperature and has been whisked in this little ramekin. We're going to do one and a half tablespoons of unsweetened shredded coconut. I use the Let's Do Organic. It's a very fine coconut. It's for baking and such. That's why I use this brand. We're going to do one tablespoon of Swerve Confectioner, one fourth teaspoon of rum extract, so one fourth teaspoon of rum extract, and a half a teaspoon of sugar free pineapple flavoring syrup. It's kind of like the Jordan Skinny syrup, or this brand is fruit fresh and delicious. I find this at um, Burlington, I found them at Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, and Amazon. But uh, again, this is a different brand, but you, it's the same exact thing basically as the Jordan Skinny syrup. So if you can find those near you, you can use the pineapple flavor of that. And yeah, so this is what I did. I poured the sugar-free pineapple flavoring, the syrup, the half a teaspoon, on top of my coconut that I went ahead and measured out. I also measured out my Swerve confectioner and that's on the plate as well. And also I added the 1 4 teaspoon of rum extract on top of that about 10 minutes ago. I like to do the, prepare this about 10 minutes before I'm about to make these so that the flavorings from the extract and the syrup have time to soak into the coconut and the Swerve. Those are going to be the carriers for those. If I pour that directly, those syrups or that extract directly into my egg, it changes the whole consistency of the truffle that I personally do not like. So that's why I choose to do that. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and put my swerve and shredded coconut that has been absorbing those flavors for the last 10 minutes. You can, you know, leave it longer um, if you want it to dry more in there. Okay, that's what it looks like. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in my whisked egg that was brought up to room temperature again. So I'm just going to stir this around. So it's really good and incorporated and I'm going to press as I'm stirring. And it's going to look kind of like a cake batter. You just really want to get that cream cheese pressed down into there. And I will show you in just a second. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to pour half of it into my preheated dash. Spread it around with my little spatula. This will make two. So... I will close this now and when it's to the consistency I like, I will take it out and place it on a cooling rack. If I put it directly on a plate, the heat coming off of it will cause condensation and it will get soggy on the bottom. I personally do not like that so I always place mine on a cooling rack when I take them out. I never time them. Someone has asked me several times uh, how long do I keep them in there for. I just check on them until it's to my liking and then I take them out. I can never give a time because it changes all the time for me. So um, I'm sorry, I, I can't give you a time on that. It, you're just gonna have to look at it, see if it's to your liking and then take it out off of that. I will tell you, if you open this and it's sticking, that means you do need to leave it in there longer, especially when, it's, when you're using cheese and such. 
Um, so when I have two of them made and plated up, I will be back to show you what those look like. Okay, you guys, here it is, plated up. I'm only doing this because I get so many people saying, Christy, take a bite of it. Tell us how you like it. Believe me, I've taken a bite out of every single one that I've made. I test them several times before I make a video on them. I only make a video on them if I think they turn out great and I would eat them again. Um, the ones that I usually make on video, I'll save for my daughter, or I put in the refrigerator and I eat later, or my husband eats them. That's why you usually do not see me eat those on camera because I've already ate several of them before they made it to video. But because so many people have been asking me to take a bite of them, that's what I'm gonna do with the pina colada one. So I threw a little bit of the powdered swerve or Swerve Confectioner on top and a little bit of that uh, shredded coconut. I'm going to take a bite out of this just for you guys and then I'm actually going to stick it in the refrigerator and I'm going to eat it later. But let's take a bite. Like I made the one before. Really good. Some heavy whipping cream, or if you do ice cream like um, Rebel, Halo Top, Mammoth Creamery, whatever you're into would be good on that. I am going to top that with some heavy whipping cream when I eat it later. But I actually prefer this one in the refrigerator. I like it cold. So, another reason why I don't usually take a bite is I kind of don't like this help with my mouthful. But I understand some people don't want to try something until they see someone's reaction, like their face speaks for itself. But like I said, uh, by the time you see it aired on YouTube, I've already eaten them several times trying out different recipes. And if I didn't think it was really good, it wouldn't go up on my channel. Um, by the time I make them, like I said, I'm kind of twaffled out. For the day and I usually do have someone else eat them in my family and usually they don't want to be on camera eating them so um, but I will try to keep that in mind for further videos um, save a little bit of appetite so I can go ahead and bite into them on camera for you for those that like to see that um, I don't know I guess I just never really thought about it so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video. If you give it a try and you like it, let me know down in the comments below. And um, see you next time. Have a good day.